All right, welcome to Monday, October 19. 19. 19. The beginning of week nine. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> week nine. So last time we left off, uh, we were in uh, the PICU. Ethan's brain had, was getting drained for the umpteenth time. Um, and it is fully drained. Yep. I, I think we pulled out like we. Uh, it drained like 290 milliliters, something like that. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, it was a lot. Uh, so uh, we were. So he, he fully drained, like when you push on his head, like before it was like squishy. And now when you push on his head, you feel skull. Yeah. So they, they pulled that out, took out the ICP monitor, and. I mean, we're, we're on warp speed to get... Operation the, warp speed. Get Ethan to radiation. Yeah, that is like everybody's objective <laughs> is to get this kid to radiation before anything bad happens again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that is just the plan. Like, well, this kid needs to go to radiation. Yeah. So, so Monday. So, so no. Oh. So Friday night, uh, I get a text. I'm at home and Saturday morning comes around and I see... Ethan pulled out his pick line. Oh, yeah. He, Don't! He, he pulled out his pick line again. Again. And, again. and to his defense, like, I, I think to him, like, he's asleep. Yeah. And, and it bothers him, right? Like, it's sensory, not friendly. It's on his arm. I think he just reaches over and, like, just grabs it. And it just comes out. I mean, it's just a, like a spaghetti noodle. Right. I mean, he had, he had two nurses right by his bedside. Yeah. And they were doing, you know, nursing stuff. And he just... Out it comes. So it's just really hard because it comes out so easily, but it's such a procedure to put it yeah. in. And y y you can only like go back and forth so fast. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so Saturday, relatively quiet after the pick line got pulled. They replaced it with an IV. Sunday, also relatively very, quiet. Very sleepy. You know, it was a lot to get him to do much of anything like his warm out and i was kind of sad because it was afv a new season new season and i mean it was all he could do to like watch it with his eyes closed and i'd be like ethan it, this is afv you've been waiting for this since you know may and he'd open an eye sort of that's so right. it's just that's hard he's just so sick yeah and and so that's it's heartbreaking because this is something that he he has been looking forward to and he's too sick and too tired to enjoy it. Yeah. So this morning, <laughs> Operation Warp Speed Get to Radiation um, got delayed. Yes, because... Not not fully. Well, so he has to go across the street. Like the uh -huh. hospital, literally across the street. 0.2 miles. To the cancer center. I mean, it's still all UC Davis Health. Like it's all, it's still the hospital. It's just a new building. But to do that, he has to have an ambulance ride, which means paramedics yeah, and, and a nurse. And because... Uh, yeah, and, and we talked about that. Oh, we already did. Okay. Yeah, in an episode. We covered that. Okay, well, the now that he's on the PICU, he has to have, like, a special critical care nurse. Yeah, a higher level go, certification. Go with him. So they, they brought an ambulance from the Bay Area. <laughs> so when, you're, you're, when all of your premiums go up next year... It was us. <laughs> Sorry. It was us. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're, it's because we had an ambulance ride 33 days in a row across the street yeah. from the Bay Area. So it was just delayed by like 45 minutes or so. And but. then, yeah, they kind of sped up his process there. So it wasn't, it was just kind of stressful because we're trying to get it done and there's no transportation and it's yeah. across the street, but we're stuck because we can't actually go across the street. So we've got another radiation day in. Tear one off your chain. Yep. Get um, back. So they sedate him for that, wake him up, bring him across the hospital, bring him back to the hospital, sedate him again, put in a new pick line. To so replace the one he pulled. Mm -hmm. And so all of that takes us to about 11.30. And then we're kind of trying to wake Ethan up. And, uh, you know, he eats a little bit of lunch. It, well, it's actually his breakfast, but at lunchtime. And he's just really sleepy. And I'm giving him a little bit of muffin. And he kind of chews. And I'm like, Ethan, eat him. And he's sacked out. Yeah. I'm like, okay, he's he's tired. He's had two rounds of sedation and uh, radiation, so I guess he's tired. Yeah. So he's sleeping. He's sleeping. I come in. He's sleeping. It's three fifteen. 
we talk, we talk. I'm like, and well, then, let's, we're getting bored. Let's wake up, Ethan. Ethan, wake up. Dad's here. Ethan, Ethan, wake up. Ethan, I'm going to eat all your jelly bellies. Ethan, nothing. Nothing. Like, out. Yeah. Out. And, and, so, and his breathing is fine. His heart rate is fine. His pupils are fine. Well, fine. Stable. They're, yeah, they're stable, but they're still like not different. Right. Yeah, yeah, they're not. Um, and and so like he won't wake up. So get Melissa. Melissa. Our day nurse. He, he, Ethan won't wake up. And and I think after this journey, we just assumed like the absolute worst yeah. <laughs> has happened. And so Melissa's staying calm, but you can see them like walk a little faster. Yeah. And you see people like start. Let, let me let me get the resident doctor. Well, fast. let me just get the attending. Yeah. Oh, oh let me get and, and people just start coming into your room, coming and pretty in. soon you have very brisk pace. Both attendings <laughs> in your room, and everybody's watching, and you're and I'm just like, oh my gosh, we cannot do this again. Like, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. So what do they do? Another CT scan. CT scan. So take him down for a CT scan. Bring him up because um, one, he was priority, so he got to cut in line. Yep. And two, he was so out, they didn't even have to sedate him. No. Nope. Because he's sound and, asleep. And the CT it's, only it's takes fast. like two minutes. Yeah, it's super fast. And, and so as long as he can hold still, you don't you don't really need a lot of sedation. And so what they were looking for is some some really large difference between Friday CT scan and today. They're looking for some hemorrhage, stroke, something, what, what, why, yeah. some sort of something that would indicate cranial pressure is under attack. <laughs> yeah. And, and that would be why he's not able to cognitively respond to us because his cranial pressure has built up. Yeah. So, uh, by the time they get back, they can read the, the CT scan and there's no changes. No, no significant change. So that means there's no new hemorrhage, no cranial pressure built up. All of his ventricles, everything looks within the same, range, the yeah. same as it was. Um, so then I, I asked the I'm like, so what are the chances that he's just really, really sleepy? Yeah. And and so that's our current theory is that he's just like I equated it to my dad after a day of tree work falling asleep in the recliner at like six thirty snoring just like yeah he was snoring yeah like heavy snore but I mean it it's really scary when you can't like he nothing. like you cannot wait like nothing. nothing they scratch his face like I mean. They full on did a whole like bed change and moved. I mean, nothing like yeah. not, not a eyebrow movement, not a head turn, like out. Yeah. Um, and so in addition to, you know, the radiation that it makes you tired anyway, but they also increased his margins from last week. And so he's actually getting a larger field radiated. Like it's, it's so, I mean, people have, you know, cancer that gets radiated that's you know a teeny tiny mass not yeah. not under valuing no. <laughs> how scary no. that would be but uh, uh, a small amount of radiation on a, on a small view is enough to knock you out and so Ethan I think his field of radiation is 10 centimeters yeah. which huge. is like you know three quarters of his brain um, it's huge I mean you look at you look at the CT scan and, uh, you know, the tumor itself is taking up the same amount of space, but with the hemorrhage, they're also trying to target that because those have cancerous cells and you're trying to... His actual tumor is like 6.2 centimeters, but with yeah. the with the bleeding, it's like the, the field that they're attacking is 10 centimeters. Yeah. So uh, we did get him to slightly wake up, you know, give us some cognitive responses by squeezing hands, get him to open his eyes a little bit. He, he woke up and said told, he need... told us he had to go pee. Yep. Pee. Um, uh, that was about the only communication we've had. Um, so I even told glimpses. him we were going to eat all his Chinese food and it didn't wake him up. Nothing. Nothing. So he's sleeping, but uh, we feel comp confident enough. To come home that um, he's just really tired. Yeah. So um, I think if he'll, it's quite possible he'll just sleep all night long till tomorrow morning. Uh, it's quite possible he'll wake up at some point and be awake, and we'll just go back and hang out with him. In the middle of the night. So. Um, and 
he has radiation tomorrow because <laughs> warp speed, fast go, collect your $200, like you are going to radiation. Yep, that's our, that's our best chance for getting the bleeding under control. Yeah, and, and if radiation doesn't work, like we, we're just going to bring him home. Yep. Um, and so that's kind of where we are. So we'll see. Hopefully this was just an extreme case of it being the first day of radiation on top of the extra sedation. Yeah. Um, if it, if the radiation is going to knock him out this much every time. We need to well, mitigate other issues like eating and yeah. making sure he's getting enough nutrition. Um, but we'll cross those bridges later. Cross those bridges later. Yeah. Right now he's just hooked up to IVs. He's stable. His sugars are fine. His heart rate's a little elevated, but everything else is. He could be fighting off a little bit of a fever. Um, so so. Uh, we'll, we'll see how tonight goes. We'll hopefully uh, be on our ambulance ride tomorrow across the street. <laughs> Bright and early. <laughs> um, yeah. And yeah. sleeping the day away. Yeah. So we'll do our best to keep you guys posted on uh, all events concerning Ethan. So, till tomorrow.